In very cool tech news, US firm Raytheon has unveiled an anti-aircraft super laser which can be used independently or with supporting guns. A long distance from the 1.21 gigawatts of a lightning bolt, the solid state fiber laser produces a 50 kilowatt beam and can be fired against aircraft, projectiles and shipping vessels. The laser requires a large amount of energy to function and can now reach the same power levels as a chemically fueled one. Chemically fueled lasers had previously been used as they could create powerful beams. However, the fuel was frequently toxic, therefore requiring users to wear radiation suits and the waste products themselves being very difficult to dispose of cleanly. This new model consists of glass or ceramic material to create a laser beam and can be used a lot more safely. The cleaner versions were less powerful until previously, therefore they were deemed unsuitable for military purposes. Peter Felstead of Jane's Defence Weekly commented, That's the very beginnings of what we can expect to see as firms miniaturise their technology and make them more effective. Mike Bowen, Raytheon Missile Systems Vice President, added, We've tied this into Phalanx, the US Navy's anti-missile defence system that links a multiple barreled 20mm Gatling gun to radar guidance mechanism. This system is already installed in many ships, both in the US and other NATO nations, such as the Royal Navy. It functions as a last line of defence, so if you can fit a laser onto it, you have a longer reach and an unlimited magazine, because it keeps on throwing out photons. However, the advancement in fuel and power cannot overcome problems that have existed since the 1960s. Damp weather conditions can absorb laser energy and a reflective surface on the target can negate much of the photon's energy. Mr. Bowen has acknowledged this and says that problems could be overcome with a more powerful laser. Once the material starts to get hot, then it will absorb more energy, fulfilling the laser's purpose. The laser has been tried and tested numerous times in the US Navy's testing range on the San Nicolas Island near the coast of California. Raytheon have refused to give details on the height and speed of the UAVs, however they said they were as close to real aircraft as possible. Raytheon are currently working on a land-based laser that can shoot down rockets and mortars. While this newer advanced technology is very impressive, the whole situation is very unsettling. Why Raytheon planning to equip every vessel in NATO organisations with the laser if we're all aiming for peace? Peter Felstead said that air bases in Afghanistan, the green zone in Baghdad, or the border with Gaza and Israel could all potentially use something like this. If their idea is to end conflicts in this region, then giving aside a more powerful weapon is not going to make matters any better. If anything, it will encourage the research and development of more advanced missiles and aircraft capable of evading these lasers perhaps snowballing into who has the better weapon, which as history will tell us has caused huge conflicts. If we're aiming for peace, then are powerful lasers and solar-powered reconnaissance planes actually harming our chances? Is this the start of an arms race? Only time will tell.